and what Love Island as a show is selling us is like the fantasy of having that perfect body. Hello, Kristen here, back on my channel. If you know me, you may have noticed that I look slightly uncharacteristic for myself, and that is because I am cosplaying as a Love Island female contestant. I want to show you the rest of my outfit just so you can appreciate because the shoes is really what makes this obviously a Love Island cosplay. Look at these shoes. So that's me pretending to be a girl. <laughs> so the reason I am pretending to be a Love Island girl today of all days <laughs> is because I had the idea to go online shopping and design what I think is the perfect ideal Love Island girls wardrobe. So like, if I were the ideal contestant for this show, how would I be looking? And show you guys what I think these girls could be putting on to be winning all of them boys. Cause I'm just like so fascinated <laughs> with the wardrobe and the fact that they literally exclusively need bikinis and like cocktail dresses. And they need like six or eight weeks worth of outfits in both of those categories. So I just wanted to have a little fun and online shop in my imagination because I'm obviously not going to order these things because I do not have the money for that. So instead, we're keeping it on the laptop and in the imagination. Let's get my screen recording. I have a VPN and I have gone and turned on my location to be in the UK. And then I searched on Google. I just typed in clothes to see what shops came up because I really wanted to use the like crappy, really cheap, really fast fashion websites to do this because those are the websites that I have been wanting to be on but I have been keeping myself away from both because I do not have the money and because it is ethically dubious. <laughs> So this is in no way a promotion for these websites. I just think it's interesting because they have the most like on-trend stuff. So I'm in theory going to try to create the perfect Love Island wardrobe for a trendy gal going on the show summer 2020, even though we know that doesn't exist. Also, I'm assuming the girls actually on the show re-wear things. They probably wear it like twice, maybe three times, or they just share with each other so that they aren't wearing the exact same thing more than once, even if somebody else is wearing it again. But because this is a fantasy world, <laughs> I want to have a complete wardrobe so I could theoretically be on the show for a full 50 days because I think that's how long the Love Island UK summer ones tend to be is like almost 50 days. So we're gonna just go for 50 and we're gonna say I want to be able to go on the show for 50 whole days and never repeat an outfit. This is our goal. Let's shop swimsuits. We're obviously going to be going into bikini sets. We want to be matching. You're not perfect, ideal, amazing woman of every man's dream unless your bikini is matching. And we're also going to be shopping for a size small because if I'm the ideal woman, I'm obviously perfectly fitting into the beauty standards of society. So that means that I have a very slim figure, but I have a big butt and decent sized tits, but I still wear a size small because I'd rather have those things shown off peeking out than hidden behind too much fabric. We're also going to be trying to maximize the amount of exposure of our assets with these swimsuits, but I'm thinking one of the other things I want to go for is I want to try and build a personality. I can't decide if I want to be like the bad bitch or if I want to be like the fun, playful girl next door. I've obviously cosplayed as the like girl next door version, but I think it might be a little more fun to build the wardrobe of the bad bitch. So I think we're gonna go that direction with our choices, but we're gonna try and like have each piece be distinctive. We're not just gonna get a bunch of black bikinis, obviously, because that would be beyond boring. <sighs> so I'm gonna just start scrolling. This is interesting. I think a few basics is good. So we're gonna go with this hot pink bikini in my size small. I don't love the frill on this bandeau and I'm just not feeling it. Some of these pieces I feel are a little too much, 
but I want to have at least a few like very current on trend moments in my wardrobe. So I'm seeing one good trend piece here, which is this neon and a uh, leopard print bikini. So we're gonna grab one of those. I don't think a cow print is that attractive. I am adding one that's got some amazing tits in the photo, so I'm hoping it'll really help me show off the girls. Ooh, this is a nice one. A little knot in the front is a good detail to draw the attention in that direction. I wanna find some really inventive stuff that's like super sexy. Let's see, will any of these help me? Yes, oh my god. Shein, under the style dropdown, has an option for sexy. So let's just go there, that's who we're trying to be. Okay, we've already seen some of these. I'm glad me and Shein agree that the ones that I've chosen so far are sexy. I think we need some good scoop action. I think this one is good. Let's get olive green. This one's got a really great underwire going on and then a lot of room for the tit to be exposed. So I think it's a good pick. This one literally looks like underwear. I think we have to get one. Let's just do the plain leopard, not the pink leopard. Trying to keep it a little classy, you know? We don't want to cross the line into being a trashy girl because we're trying to attract our Prince Charming, right? You don't go on Love Island just to get laid. You go on Love Island to make 50,000 pounds. <laughs> I feel like I should avoid getting too many like leopard print ones because you don't wanna be like a one. Ooh, this is excellent. Look at the sides of these bottoms. It's all open. That's all hip exposed. We want to open up their imagination, you know, to the possibilities of having sex with us. That's the goal of these bikinis. Boring, boring. Ooh, I, okay, I love fun shit like this. Let's see what color I want. Ooh, let's do pink, you know? Oh, I shouldn't have clicked on that. Go back, go back. Take me back to where I was. Let's do the all pink. The Shein site doesn't think as fast as I do, but that's okay because they don't have that much money to spare for web development, I'm guessing. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we'll get a white one so that it can be in a size small. Oh my god, chains? See, this is covering a little bit more, but I think it's bringing out a lot of lingerie slash BDSM vibes, which I love for our bad bitch. Ooh, the zipper action. See, the zipper doesn't look like a bad bitch kind of thing, but you can lower that zipper and reveal a lot of tittage in the front. So I think we're gonna get one, and then this would be like what we would wear on a day when we're trying to look like kind of innocent, uh -huh, tee -hee. But <laughs> we want to also maintain that our assets are front and center, you know? This is basically an experiment in me trying to think like a heterosexual woman, which is something I am absolutely not. <laughs> it seems fun though, except I don't, I guess we should get into this. Let's get into this. Except that there's so much pressure to have this specific body shape. Oh, I really like this mesh top thing. We might have to get this. Sorry, distracted, saw a squirrel. There's this pressure to have this exact body shape and I bet even the people that do have this exact body shape struggle with body image and maintaining it and worrying about whether it's perfect enough or exactly what it should be or even getting criticized sometimes by some people for it still. Ooh, a lace-up back? I love that. Okay, let's go neon with our lace-up back. And so it's like, this is like a fantasy. The idea and what Love Island as a show is selling us is like the fantasy of having that perfect body and feeling like you are in control because there's a lot less supposed insecurity when you know that you're the shit. And so it makes it seem like their romantic lives must also be perfect. But part of why I still actually really love the show is because it shows how much their love lives aren't perfect. Oh my god, this bikini covers literally nothing. Let's do yellow. That's like a look at me color. This one too, dear god. I don't like those clear straps though. It's kind of gross. Oh my god, the ruffles on this? Hello accentuating the tit size. This lace is adorable, but also kind of 
edgy. I've lost my flow. I was saying, oh yeah, the show is cool for how. It shows us that these people are not in fact perfect because even when they look absolutely amazing, Sometimes nobody's interested in them. Sometimes people go behind their back and double cross them and cheat on them. They cry when they get just shit on. All that stuff that all the rest of us plebeians do, hot people do it too. I also feel like it's very interesting to see these hot people also have personalities. And this bikini selection endeavor is kind of like an exploration of the personality of a hot person. Because it's like, because clothes will fit them, because they're not as concerned about like coverage necessarily. Because I know, at least for me, I think for a lot of people that have insecurities about their body, looking for clothing becomes largely an endeavor of how do I cover up and hide the things that I'm not proud of. And it's cool to think, put yourself in the mindset of somebody who doesn't always obsess over, well, is it gonna hide that part of my body that I don't like people looking at? And instead to just be like, is this clothing who I am as a person? Is this clothing gonna make me feel powerful and like I am myself and I am on top of the world? Because I think that's like what I wish was the only thing I thought about when I was shopping for clothing. And so we can see this little experiment as like an attempt to see how it feels to shop with your personality and your desire for expression instead of shopping with your insecurity. Not that I'm saying it's bad to have your insecurities in mind because the thing is if when you put something on it just makes you feel more worried about what your body is like and if you're just gonna spend the whole time you're wearing that thing obsessing over what your body is looking like, that's not great. You probably shouldn't do that. Maybe you're not ready yet. <laughs> Maybe smaller baby steps. But I think it's like useful to consider trying on things that you really love at first, but then you shut yourself down because you're like, oh, that wouldn't look good on me. Oh, my stomach is too big to wear that. Oh, my thighs are too fat for that. Like, if you notice yourself doing that, you should let yourself try it. I know right now is not a great time to be saying we should try on clothing because <laughs> that's not really allowed right now, but I just think in the ideal world that is what we should all be trying to do more of. So when you see this freaking gold bikini with the stars barely covering the nipple, if you're like, oh my god, what a bad bitch would wear that bikini? I want to be her. You should let yourself contemplate even just for a moment that you are her, that you can be her. And that is my inspirational speech for this video. I feel like the shapes that we're seeing are getting a bit repetitive. Oh my god, dude. Let's just go black on this one. You see how the side of the body is just out here? Dude, scandalous. Dude, there's literally nothing to this bikini. Nothing. Can you imagine being like, hell yes, I know you want to see my ass and I don't give a shit. You can look at my ass all day. Okay, I love the ring and tie situation going on here. Another lace up back. Kind of like the lace up situation. Holy shit, do you see the amount of tit exposed? Like that tiny little triangle is barely covering nipple. Obviously we need it. We're really embracing being the kind of woman that is like loud and proud with her sexuality. Oh man, I could go on a whole rant about this, but women used to slash still slash always have been like actively shamed for being sexual and I am just really not here for it. I think nobody's here for it anymore because the thing is a woman owns her own body, right? So if a woman wants to have a lot of sex, she has the right to do that so long as she is engaging with partners who are also consenting. And that is her right with her body. Yes, obviously most people would agree she should use protection, take care of her own health, avoid STDs or STIs I think is the more correct term and also try not to get pregnant if she doesn't want to. She has a right to do all of that. And yet, women are taught to be ashamed of their body, to be worried that showing off their body 
tells people that they have too much sex, that they want sex more than they should, which there's no such thing as that. If a woman wants to have sex all day every day, she can do that, <laughs> especially if she can afford it. <laughs> Hell, she can even get paid for it. I'm not gonna get too deep into that one though. But for some reason, all of us girls, we were told in our young days that if you show off your body, that means you want sex more than you should. Part of that is the culture around rape, at least in the US, in most Western cultures, is this like norm of victim blaming and like men justifying their non-consensual sexual actions with the women woman's clothing being too provocative. And for some reason, men are not held accountable for harming women because they are not expected to be able to control their sexual urges in a situation with somebody else who does not want to be having sex with them. Which is ridiculous, because women's bodies belong only to those women. And the men who say, well, what else was I supposed to do but rape her when she looked like that? They are infringing upon that body that does not belong to them, that they have no right to tell what to do. And so, because of that and because women can have too much sex, but men usually can't, those two things together make it so that women are supposed to be ashamed of showing off their body. They're supposed to be afraid to show off their body. And I think it's fucking bullshit, y'all. I'm not here for it. It's like, even if you do want to show off your body to have sex, or if you want to show off your body and you don't want to have sex, that is your right. And how much you show of your body does not give any man any signal as to whether you want to have sex with him. This has been a rant that I would like to say is done, but I'm still- I still have to pick out like 15 more swimsuits, so we might just keep going. But so basically, I want to say that I think a woman should be able to wear all of these super exposing, provocative bikinis that I am picking out without anyone thinking they have any oh man it stopped recording while i was ranting the bikini doesn't mean she wants to have sex with you that's the moral of the story i think it should be fun for us to consider what the bikini does mean like when you put on a bikini and you feel good what are you telling the world telling the world i love my body telling the world i feel powerful i'm in control of this body i think it can depend on the bikini you could be telling the world, I am not to be messed with. I am an assertive woman who is going to get what she wants. Or you could be telling the world, I am adorable. What is this? What is this? Some of these are so unrealistic. Okay, this one's fun. Maybe you're telling the world, I fucking love the color green. Or, I think flowers are beautiful. Honestly, I just wish we could feel good in clothing without that being attached to distorted perceptions about our bodies in any way. Ooh, I love galaxy shit, so who even cares what the theme is at this point? Uh, I just really don't like animal prints that much, so I really don't like that so much stuff is just like a freaking animal print. Dude, this shape. I don't understand. <laughs> okay, these flowers are fun. I'm gonna finish this up and then try to go to the cart and look through all our swimsuits and tell you the identity of the girl woman that I have created, but I'm going to try to stop commentating so that I can finish and then we can get to that step. Oh my god. I'm just like also terrified of how prone some of these are to nip slips. Like, what the heck? <laughs> Four more. Just power scrolling, dude. Yes. Last one. What's it gonna be? Hell yes. Okay, I have selected 50 freaking bikinis. Let's scroll through them and talk about who I am. I just want to see the picture is really big. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Obviously, we want attention. We love that attention. We say, you know what? This is perfection that you are 
being blessed to look upon. That's why we're into some bright colors, some metallics, and we really love just having the girls out there, you know? Feel the breeze. Feel the breeze. We really love like dark red, dark blue, like navy to black colors, like that deeper side of the spectrum. But we'll also dabble in like a white or a nude, you know? Go a little bit more angelic every once in a while. We kind of love extra strings and wrapping and lacing and whatnot. We think it's got that like edgy vibe and any sort of crisscross effect is just like super fun. It's just a nice way to show that we're a little a little freaky, a little freaky, if you know what I mean. We are not afraid to show off. We in fact love getting the appreciation that we deserve for the fact that we are clearly on a diet to maintain this figure. That's a joke. <laughs> Because obviously that would kind of contradict everything I've been saying. I think you can see that we, we tend to want to be a little bit like hard bad girl. But we like to be able to break out that little cutesy moment every once in a while. To remind everyone that we can be soft too. We like to be a little girly sometimes but not too too girly, you know. Love that neon trend. <laughs> yeah, we love... We, we just want, we want to be able to get someone into the bedroom, so we got to put their minds in that place. And that was our scroll through my bikini shopping cart. I think I'm going to stop now. I hope this was entertaining. I hope you enjoyed my Love Island cosplay attempt. I put on jewelry that's feminine. I tried. <laughs> and yeah, that is all. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>